What's going on guys, it's Shane, we are back here again with another video. Today we're going to be checking out a game called Milan, Michigan, school bus simulator owned by Milan Area Bus Services. I think I saw Jared make a video on this game, so um, here we have it. I think some other person had requested me to check it out, so let's just click anywhere to play, and it just automatically puts you here. So that's a pretty cool little loading screen there. Not, uh, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's a loading screen, it's more of just like a of a main menu screen it's nothing really i guess theoretically speaking there are things loading into the background but uh if that were the case then every screen would be a loading screen um so here's the garage here and the lot very bright the game is very bright okay so let's see here so there's okay so there's you put your bus in there i guess uh, as far as spawner goes we've seen this kind before uh, let's see what kind of buses they have. They've got a CE. They look like Huxley buses. Uh, we'll be able to determine that uh, once we spawn them in. Uh, all I'm seeing right now are CEs. Deck. Okay, spares. Let's see what's under spares. Okay, ownership cars. Game pass. Okay, so they do have a game pass. It's all CEs. So I, I'm assuming it's a CE oriented bus company let's go 2023 why not i don't have permission that's why <laughs> okay um it's probably like a premium bus or something um okay let's go 2020 that'll work okay so we gotta walk over here to our bus this is a huxley bus indeed yes it is okay so it says Milan area schools. Okay. Emergency door does work. Uh, no license plate. Weird. <laughs> Maybe the other ones have a license plate. Who knows? Uh, I always struggle to find the door handles on these new ones. They used to have the key slot here, but I guess I don't know. Yeah, uh, maybe not on the newer ones, I guess. Is there something, is there someone bothering you? Oh, man. Here we go. Okay, so there's a pass right there. I think that's something Michigan, uh, yeah, Michigan State Police. It's like, a, I noticed those on Michigan buses specifically. Uh, I remember when ABC had something like that in their game uh, for their buses. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put the key in the thing. F. Sorry if you can hear something in the background. I got people out here mowing my lawn. Oh, is there an empty sign back there? No, okay. And there she goes. I need a, a water right here. A bottle of water. Or like a Stanley, wouldn't that be crazy? All right. So, let's make sure all of our lights work. Okay. There they go. And then the reds. So this bus has a one stop sign. don't know if this is a real place um it's based out of the real town of milan michigan okay i didn't know that was a place the only places i've been in michigan were we'll get into that here in a second um let's just pull out of here first we have we have fuel okay i have been to flint michigan lapeer michigan uh, i've been on the outside of detroit michigan and a few places in between because uh, when I drove to Flint, uh, I went through Lapeer and everything surrounding it. And I just drove right back into the lot. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. Okay. So let's just go back this way. <laughs> um. So it looks like the surrounding area is 
covered with fields and trees. So I would only assume that the real Milan is covered with fields, fields and trees as well. Okay. I guess we'll go right. I don't know how big the map is. And I don't know where the houses are. Let's see, dead end. Okay, what is that? Looks like it to be a farm of some sort. Maybe a field trip location because you can see all the bus spots. Uh, it turns into a gravel road here. Looks like you have uh, a block inside of a block there. Oh my goodness, it just ends here? Okay. How do you get over there? I'm just, oh. Okay, I didn't even notice the uh, uh, billboard UIs. We are just not driving correctly here. This is a roundabout, which I will fail to stay on. Here we go. We're just here to check it out. Here. Uh some tips for your roads uh use archimedes uh it's a good plug-in for roads specifically uh gap fill resize line i say those are my top three when it comes to roads you gotta have them you gotta have them Okay, we got some, uh, I almost want to see power lines. I guess that's what those would be. They're obviously huge to be power lines. They must be, I don't know. Oh, there's a house. We got some houses. Oh, there's a lot of trees over there. Should we go over there? Oh, there's an interstate up here too. I guess, let's go over here. So, you know, the one thing, I, I play these games to kind of review them uh, alongside playing them, but uh, the one thing I will go ahead and say is uh, the roads do need some work. The roads definitely need some work. Like I said, Archimedes, Gap Fill, those, those two specifically will definitely help you connect these roads. And this is the high school. Let's actually pull in here. And yeah, we'll do a PM route, why not? Not a bad looking high school, as far as builds go. I'm assuming it's based off the real high school. Well, it looks like you use Archimedes here. Maybe. Oh. Okay. Keep on driving. Lots of fields. Lots of fields. Okay. It's kind of elevated here, which is pretty cool. So we got houses down here, lots of fields, my lord. But I'd rather have them be fields than, you know, just open land. Because fields do look good. When you have them all together like that, they do look really cool. Uh, I'm assuming it's all probably cornfield. I'd put like different colors, but uh, you know, if it's all corn, then don't worry about it, I guess. Or wheat, I guess it could be wheat as well. Wheat would be more of a white These are more like power lines right here. Okay. 
Is that water over there? I see some water, I think. We got here. I got a train track. Railroad crossing. Yeah, no, so if you're if you're if you're never sure where to what to put in a, like an open spot, put some fields there. Or just a stack of trees, because that'll definitely I actually came across that when I was uh you know, if you guys know I'm working on my own game. There's some spots where I wasn't sure if I wanted to put more houses or like a um, an industrial zone or something. So I just went ahead and put like a field there and it looks great. I put a field and a pond, which is pretty cool. Which you will come to find out my game is filled with a lot of water, <laughs> a lot of water, which is good, very good. And, and then the trees as well. Not my favorite looking trees. I know. I do recognize the trees. I've seen these before. The pack or whatever. Um, I would have gone with. Uh, since everybody pretty much uses free model trees. Which there's nothing wrong with that. Because that's what I'm using as well. I would have went with something a little different. These ones just look shiny and glossy for some reason. I don't know. But it's not that big of a deal, honestly. They still look pretty pretty well. Okay, I thought this road ended. Good, it did not. Oh my god, the amount of fields in this game. I gotta look up Milan here in a second. I wanna see what it looks like from, like, the satellite view. I've gotta see it. Actually, we're gonna go left. This map is pretty huge. Look off into the distance over there. We're not going to be be able to cover everything, so I'll leave that up to you guys. Like I said, link in the description. Link in the description. So that is water over there. It looks like a small, I'd say creek. It doesn't. It's not really a pond, nor is it a lake, nor is it really a creek. And more like a river. More like a river. Come on. Drive, 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 drive. There we go. Alright. A lot of, uh, a lot of, um, you know, kind of back roads, gravel roads. That uh, would just pretty cool. I do like how they went for an elevated, uh, you know, the road is on an elevated thing here, uh, and their houses and driveways kind of go downwards, which is really cool. Don't see that too often, actually. I wouldn't have used concrete for my road. The, this concrete material, Roblox when they updated the stuff it looks stupid it looks like play-doh for some reason <laughs> the material looks like play-doh i would use um what i'm using for my game is a uh, a pbr texture uh for the uh material um how it's called the material thingy or whatever it, it's really cool to use um i would look into using that or if not use uh just asphalt asphalt just looks better for roads uh, and then for gravel, I don't know if you were using gravel. Uh, we're actually going to have to go back and look at that. So, we're actually going to make it right here. PBR textures will definitely make your uh, roads and even grass look better. Because, yeah, th I don't like these new Roblox materials. They're horrible. Except for the asphalt one. I do like the asphalt material. We got one other person in here. The stoplights do appear to work. Yep. Okay, there's the ES over there. We're going to have to check that out as well. Um, we'll make a... Left here. 
don't know where it'll take me, but uh, find out, won't we? Yeah, we're definitely not gonna be able to check out the whole map. So uh, I don't know if there's any stores around. Like I said, I don't know what uh, Milan looks like, but uh, if they do have stores, I definitely imp implement those. Be pretty cool. What do we got here? Pull in here. Is this good? To, oh. Oh, that's more of a mud material, it looks like. I'd use gravel. I don't think we can go in there. It didn't allow me to. Um, let's make a left here and see if it'll take us to the ES. It's weird. We couldn't find the houses because they're kind of like covered by all the trees, which is weird. Is that a roundabout? It is. God darn it. see here um, okay there we go this would have to do no maneuvering for that roundabout that was a good roundabout there uh, we'll go right because I think that will take us out there Yep. I think this game is fairly new as well. Not actually sure. We're going to have to check that out. Let's see. Uh, yep. Created uh, January 20th of this year, so it is pretty new. So here is the ES. It's pretty cool. It's got like, I wonder if that's the gymnasium. I don't know pretty cool so what about the ms let's check out the ms and then we'll wrap up the video oh lord over the double yellow yeah uh that um that uh that um what's it called i forget the term but the uh where two roads or two parts collide and they start like Making that weird uh, thing happen, uh, gap fill will definitely fix that. So, or resize line, one or the other. They're really good. They both do kind of the same thing, but uh, one of them does something a little better. Better, better, better. I just don't know. Um, there's the middle school. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, and then it looks like there's a parking lot on the other side, right here. On both sides over there, too. Pretty cool. Not bad. Got three other people in here. They just start showing up. Showing up like raccoons. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. All right, there's no way I'm gonna find myself back to the lot because that would take forever. Um, but like I said, uh, don't mean to criticize, but um, definitely the one thing I would work on is the roads for sure. Like I said, um, familiar, familiarize yourself with 
Archimedes, Gap Fill, Resize Align. Uh, there's tutorials on YouTube on how to use them and get them. And I am driving off the road here. Uh, but uh, a very nice game, honestly. Uh, I do like the schools and the uh, the neighborhood layouts and everything, and the usage of fields around the area. Um, and then obviously, you know, the materials as well. You can use better materials. Um, that's pretty much it. If you guys do wish to check out the game yourself, it will be linked in the description down below. With that being said, if you guys liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.